All right, we are going to talk about what it means to show your work in math class. So to show your work in math class, you need to actually write out your problem and show your steps. So on this side, we are going to talk about where it says no work, which means you probably used a calculator or even used mental math, which means you will not get any credit. So when I say mental math, this is what this would look like on your paper. You would have 23 times five, you would write it out, and then you would only write your answer. So this is what it would look like. There is no work shown here. I have no idea how to follow your thinking. But on this side, we're gonna show our work. So I have 23 times five. I'm gonna write it out the same. But this time, I am actually gonna show my thinking. So five times three is 15. So that means I need to carry that one and put my five here. Already, we have a difference in our work. And then five times two is 10 plus one is 11. So the big difference here is that I showed my carry. So you can see that I actually showed my work on this problem and then I can circle my answer. So that's a multiplication. We can go down here to the bottom. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you no work on subtraction. So if I have 452, if you were to just write the answer of 291 like this, that's absolutely no work at all. It just has an answer. But if I wanted to, I could even line it up. So 452 minus 161. And then if I just write my answer like this, this is still not showing work. I didn't show any carries, anything. So this still is not okay. So on this other side, let's actually show our work. So first I'm gonna set it up. I have 452 and 161. So I am going to work through this problem. So two minus one is one. Five minus six, I can't do that. So I'm gonna have to borrow. So four becomes a three and that five becomes a 15. So you notice on this other side, there was no carries, there was no borrows. So I can already tell as a teacher that you did not do this problem by hand. So 15 minus six is nine, and then three minus one is two. So this is what your work should look like. So going back again, make sure you write your problems out and if you have to do carries or borrows, make sure we can see that as the teacher.